In this tutorial, we will show you how to create virtual ports using Serial Tool. This tutorial is mainly intended for Windows users. The screenshots shown are from version 2.2.1 of Serial Tool and may look different in more recent versions. First of all, it's important to note that virtual ports are very useful in several contexts, including embedded development, uh, creating applications that use the serial port, and in cases where software is no longer maintained by its developers. When we talk about virtual ports, we're referring to a pair of COM ports recognized by Windows as serial ports. The two COM ports in a pair are linked in such a way that the transmit signal TX of the first port is connected to the receive signal RX of the second port and vice versa. In this way, everything transmitted by one port is received by the other through a virtual, not physical connection. This type of connection is also known as a null modem. Now let's move on to installing a pair of virtual ports. As a first step, we need to launch Serial Tool in administrator mode to allow the kernel driver to access Windows resources needed to create virtual ports. This feature cannot be used without having administrator privileges. Now click on the Virtual Comports Manager icon and check from the Setup menu whether the drivers have been installed correctly by clicking on Get Driver Version. Once you've confirmed that the driver has been installed properly, check its status to see if it's active by clicking on Driver Status. If this process was successful, you're ready to create your first pair of virtual ports. If you encounter any issues, verify the installation and make sure you launched Serial Tool in administrator mode. If you need help, you can always contact our technical support. To create a pair of virtual COM ports, simply press the Add Pairs for Sertra button and Serial Tool will automatically create the first pair of virtual ports. Each pair of virtual COM ports will be visible directly in the Manage Virtual COM Ports section. You can change the configuration of the virtual port pair by clicking the Change button. In this screen, you can see how the COM ports are virtually connected to each other through their respective signals. It's also possible to change the COM port number by replacing the X with your desired number. However, Windows might prevent you from assigning a specific COM number to one or both ports if that number is already in use by another application. In that case, an error message will be displayed by the operating system. Returning to the main Virtual COM Port Manager menu, you can remove any pair of virtual ports simply by clicking the Remove button. This way, the virtual ports will be completely removed from Windows as if they never existed. If you just want to enable or disable COM ports while keeping them installed on your system, you can use the respective buttons, Disable All Pairs or Enable All the Pairs. At this point, your pair of virtual COM ports has been created and you can now use them with any software that works with COM ports, such as Serial Tool. Let's now do a practical test to see if everything was set up successfully. Close the Virtual COM Port Manager menu and from Serial Tool, perform a new COM port scan to check if they are available for opening and data transmission. Once you've identified your pair of virtual COM ports, set the communication speed baud rate with different values. For example, open the first COM port at 9,600 baud and the second at 150,200 baud. The powerful virtual COM port driver will be able to handle two different speeds and still transmit the same data between the two virtual ports. Now, open the virtual COM port just like a normal COM port. Let's now try sending a simple string such as hello world from the COM port assigned to position one to the COM port assigned to position two. If everything has been set up correctly, you'll see that the data sent from the first serial port is received and displayed by the second serial port. Ready? Here is how our buffer containing hello world is successfully transmitted and received. In this simple example, we've seen how to create two virtual COM ports that belong to a pair. Open the ports, send data, and receive it. This example also highlights how the two COM ports can communicate with each other, even when using different baud rates, without any issues. For example, if you have an older software whose speed is not compatible with your new device, the virtual COM port allows you to dynamically adapt the baud rate without any particular problems. Our tutorial ends here. Please note that some limitations apply when using the free version of Serial Tool.
Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions or need support, feel free to contact us at support at serialtool.com. Thank you for following along, and we'll see you soon in the next tutorial.